with the data explosion that we're seeing in current times, it's really important for statisticians to be involved because statisticians are trained to be concerned about the process of data collection and analysis. We're concerned about potential of bias. We're concerned about being misled. It's also quite possible through misunderstanding of data to come to incorrect conclusions. And so statisticians are really important as part of the role of the correct interpretation from data and to challenge results and to be aware of when we might be being misled. Data is clearly central increasingly in so many disciplines in the world, but for data to be more than just a bunch of information lying around, it needs to be turned into action. The mission of the Department of Statistics here at UW-Madison is to be a world leader in statistical research, but also to be a hub for scientific collaboration and education of everything to do with statistics and data science here on campus. With the explosion of data across many, many disciplines, students across the university who might be studying things in biology, physics, psychology, agriculture, engineering, medicine, have seen the need to be able to understand information that comes from data. In 2020 at UW-Madison, the Department of Statistics, in collaboration with the Department of Computer Sciences, the iSchool, and the Department of Mathematics, launched a new major in data science. The the growth of this data science major here at Wisconsin has been an incredible success. It's the second largest major on campus. I decided to study statistics because I realized the interdisciplinary power of it. I think that training in statistics and data science is crucial today because so much of our world depends on data. When we formed the School of Computer Data Information Sciences here at the University of Wisconsin, one of the major reasons we did that is because we saw this incredible intellectual overlap that was happening between computer scientists and statisticians in the space of machine learning and artificial intelligence. And so I think having a really strong statistics group is getting to the core of everything that's driving this revolution that's happening today. The University of Wisconsin-Madison has helped foster collaboration between computer sciences, the information school, and the Department of Statistics in a number of ways. The university has allowed all three departments to grow rapidly over recent years. They have encouraged us to work together to develop new academic programs, including the undergraduate data science major and certificate, as well as a joint master's data science program between computer science and statistics. We're very excited to be moving into Morgridge Hall. It's a state-of-the-art facility and and it's housing the computer sciences department, the statistics department, the information school, a data science institute, the center for high throughput computing, and also a part of a department in the medical school called the biostatistics and medical informatics department. Mortgage Hall was designed to be a space where all three of our departments will be intermingled and the building is designed to encourage collaborations and interactions, which will make all three departments stronger working together, then we could be working apart. The cross-departmental approach is vital for solving real-world problems because each of us with our training looks at problems in different ways. Any successful solution to a problem is going to involve looking at the problem from many different angles, using different skills and disciplines, and working together to come up with a big solution that trying to solve that same problem from just a single point of view would never be as successful. The faculty at the Department of Statistics at UW-Madison are working on big problems from across many different areas. Statistical research at UW-Madison is helping us talk about the hardest challenges of our day, like medicine, policy, climate. These all involve uncertainty and lots of data, and we need to sift through all the data to make recommendations and take action even in a difficult world. AI is making tremendous changes to healthcare and at the core of it is statistical tools. So we get to observe lots of data, we build really big models, but at the core of it, we're trying to parse through uncertainty and measure a difficult and complicated world in useful models. My two main research areas that I'm focusing on these days cover topics within astrostatistics and topological data analysis. 
Just as a quick example, when trying to detect an exoplanet orbiting another star other than the sun, the star itself is moving and causing signals in addition to the signal from the planet. And so statisticians are needed to help distinguish those different signals. Sports data is really complicated, it's high dimensional, it's very messy. You're doing things that evolve in time and in space. And a lot of traditional statistical methods are just not applicable to analyzing, say, trajectories of baseballs as they go from the pitcher's hand to the batter. It's through the collaborations and working with domain scientists and experts and really understanding what problems they have and coming up with tools and procedures and ways of solving those problems. So it's really the lifeblood of statistics is collaboration. UW-Madison is preparing students to lead in a data-driven world by giving them training in areas such as statistical thinking, computer programming with data, ethical thinking, and the ability to apply these across many, many different domains. There is always a need for a statistician when data is involved, and collaborators in other disciplines are always looking to reach out and get a statistician involved in their research. Many of the broad, far-reaching, high-impact problems like medicine, government policies, or social impacts, statisticians are uniquely qualified to talk about because we operate under uncertainty. It's very important to get those challenges right because our recommendations can have real impacts in people's lives. The hope that I have is when we're training students and when we're thinking about our research is yes, we're accepting that there's these very powerful tools that are coming out of our field. And what we're trying to train is the next generation to use that to build a better world.